Hi everybody, Steve Elliott here. Um, today I'm going to do, or I should say this evening, it's 7 o'clock in the evening in the UK. I'm going to do a painting in um, Art Rage. I've done the last two live streams I did in uh, Corel Painter. So I thought I would use Art Rage 5 for this one. Still on the Cintiq um, 16. And this is the picture that I'm going to paint. Well, that's a photo of the what I'm going to paint. And it's a, a lone tree. And um, I'm very excited about it. I've been painting all day, actually. I've done a self-portrait today. Uh, so you'll see that as now my profile picture on YouTube. So I've been uh, really busy. But I'm now going to um, have a go at this. So there's no stopping me. So um, let's get into it. Right, here we are in Art Rage. Roll my sleeves up, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna um, begin by choosing the roller brush. And I'm gonna choose a kind of a, a bluey color off my palette. I'm just gonna get some paint over the all of the canvas. I'm not using too big a canvas today, actually. This is would be equivalent to an A3, which is about 3,500 pixels by 2,500 pixels, something like that. So, um, just because I felt like um, if you enlarge the brushes in ArtRage or Curl Painter or any app to too large a size, they become blurry and um, out of focus so I, I felt I would uh, do it smaller and see what happens so right I'm going to now change brushes and I'm going to go for I think I'll try the unclean brush I'm going to paint into the same layer I don't want to change layers uh, and what shall I do I kind of want to get this distant distant um, background in I suppose it comes down to about there I'll just put a line across there I have an habit of oh, I've had an habit recently of um, painting all my horizons at an angle so I felt that uh, it had got to stop all right, so I'm making a conscious effort to uh, not do that so I've got the brush I'm using the unclean brush I've got it set to 100% uh, so I've got a couple of people uh, a couple of people online hello everybody nice to see you I'm glad I'm not sat here all by myself I'm going to work with this palette that uh, I don't know what it is. It was just a palette that uh, came up when I opened up Art Rage, and uh, I quite I quite fancy using that one. Just sort of getting some verticals in for these trees. There's some trees on the left hand side. Um, something a little bit. And I don't like that. Let's go a bit more. I want it more blue. That's it. So I'm just sort of scrubbing in a um, bush, I guess. Really, it's just typical how I paint. I mean, if you've watched the videos of mine, you'll know I begin sort of putting in really almost abstract shapes and then uh, building them up to much more uh, defined shapes and um, detail. 
I struggle talking and painting and I find that really really hard but I'm doing my best I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep trying I want to um, sample that color cool it's it's nice that the colors uh, the, the sampler is the same in art rage as it is in um, Corel painter so I don't have to learn any new shortcuts there that's nice just sort of lightening that paint up a little bit a bit more just sort of, going to get some light in there so it doesn't really look anything at all yet and it won't do for quite a while But uh, I, I know where I'm going with it. I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. So I'm still using this one brush. I've got it set up. I could actually make the brush size a little bit bigger. I'm going to go 200% actually. I'll get it done. Just get this these initial colours in a little bit quicker. Uh, that is not working for me let's try this that's better yeah and a bit lighter This is some uh, leaves, I guess. Let's sample this colour again. And then I want, I think I'm going to use this green off, off the canvas. So I've just sampled the colour. And I'm putting some, some sort of big bold brush strokes in here this would be you be like using a two or three inch brush i guess that's going to come right down here this grass is um i want some yellow I'm wanting that to try and mix in the planet is going to mix in with the blue and give us a green color and then I want the path going in mixing with that so that initial blue I pretty much covered it all up but you know it's okay to help me um, identify the uh, values the sort of light and dark colors that I wanted get something a bit lighter in there uh, let's do an instant instant clean do I need an instant dry as well yeah it just allows me to paint into that and not mix and then I can switch them off again to blend them in. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, I'm getting there. And on, something's shot up on the screen. I see it got rid of that. It's putting me off. So, uh, now I need to think about this tree. This is what's gonna make it start to happen and I'm thinking about the thirds you know the golden mean thing going off and ratios and splitting the screen into thirds or the canvas I should say into thirds this I took this photo on a walk with uh, 
with my partner yesterday. We went to a place called Market and Park in Derby. And the light, there was only, I don't know, five minutes where the light was absolutely bang on. And it was just so perfect for grabbing this picture with the light sort of touching the side of the tree. Um, I'll just show you that the light sort of uh, coming down the side of the tree there uh, was, it's just perfect it just made me want to paint it so um, that's why I took the picture it just wasn't uh, two minutes later the a cloud come over and it had gone and it wouldn't have looked anything like that so there we go I was lucky to be there at the right time. So I'm keep, keeping these colours really light at the minute with this one brush. You could use any brush you fancied really, I suppose, for this, but I'm just, um, I'm just getting in the shapes. So it doesn't matter. This is all going to be painted over at some point. So I've got the main trunk in, I'm going to go, I suppose I could, I'll just get these other fairly chunky trunks in, and then I'm going to change the size of the brush. There we go. I have to say Art Rage is a lot easier to use than Corel Painter. I know it hasn't got as many tools and functions and things, but it really is. If you're new to digital painting and you just want an app that you can sort of switch on and start painting with and get nice results, uh, you can't beat, I don't think you can beat Art Rage. Corel Paint is brilliant, but there's a steep learning curve on it. There's so many things that it can do. Right, I'm just going to uh, change that back to 100%. we go so I've sort of getting in these um, the shapes of all the trunks and I think that's looking a bit like a tree I'm, ch I'm uh, the reason I'm streaming at this time by the way if you've sort of watched the streams before i mean i've only done a couple but you you probably know if you have watched them you'll know that i've done them uh in the morning uk in the morning uh at sort of 10 in the morning so it's seven at night now so uh, nine hours earlier and i thought i would try a different time because somebody a mate of mine pointed out to me that most people in the UK are at work in the daytime and wouldn't be able to watch the stream anyway. And uh, all the Americans would be um, asleep. So I thought, well, that's a pretty good point, really. So <laughs> I thought I'd change it, try a different time, see how it goes. So I'm not saying I'm going to do all of the streams at this time. I'm just going to um, see, see what happens and um it might be it might be that uh i do do that so i've got kind of got the tree in sort of uh, very very lightly and i'm now going to um try and get some leaves in on here so i want something a bit brighter perhaps not quite that bright All of these branches are sort of hidden. Now I've got so much paint on here now. I think maybe I need to um, change my brush up. So I'm going with a normal round. Let's try that. 
I'm going to knock it up to 100%. I'm just going to go with the default settings in it just to see what we get. Yeah, if I press on, I, I get to, I, I, I do get a nice sort of changing colour. I don't want these little kind of dot things though, that. I'm not happy with that. So I'm just sort of putting some shadow in, shadows under some leaves. I haven't got any fancy brushes that look like leaves or anything like that. I'm just trying to achieve it all with brush strokes. So I could crash and burn totally, but you know, that's cool. I'm okay with that. If you've never watched any of my videos before, if you're new uh, to what I do, I'm sort of a traditional artist. Well, I was a traditional artist. I now do consider myself to be a digital painter. But um, I'm, what I'm trying to do is produce artwork that is difficult to tell that it's digital. And it could be... Uh, done in a traditional way so you know I'm not going to be I'm not into manga or uh, sort of cartoon type drawings or anything like that everything's uh, I'm, it's not like real life or anything I'm not saying that but uh, you know it's not realistic photo realistic or anything but it is painted trying to look like I've painted it in a traditional way So you'll probably realize now that these videos that I produce, that if you have watched them on YouTube before, uh, are speeded up because this is going out a lot, lot slower than um, anything that I do, that, that I upload to YouTube that has, uh, has been edited and sort of speeded up. I think that's sort of kind of looking a bit like leaves now. I like this. I, I, I do like my blues. I must say. So I'm going to kind of. Bring some blues into this. Or shadow. Notice I'm sort of. I'm not zooming in or anything at this point. I'm just looking at the old you know the big picture as it were I suppose this bush wants to go I've got this bush down here that sort of I'm kind of losing uh, the perspective. This bush actually comes way down here. That's better. I'm just still just, you know, roughing things in really. Although, you know, quite often I don't put any more. <laughs> it doesn't get any more detail in it than this. Ah, uh, I've got a question from Make Art, Not War. Hi there. Um, and he's asking, what is the best watercolour emulation app, in my opinion? Uh, it depends if you're on the PC or uh, an iPad, say. If I was using iPad, I use Procreate. I've made a set of 15 watercolour brushes uh, that I think work 
13 brushes sorry that work i think work pretty well to give you uh, a very re realistic watercolor look uh it doesn't emulate watercolor like it doesn't flow or anything like that uh, i spent the weekend all, all day saturday playing around with corel painter and i i didn't realize how good the watercolor brushes were on that uh, so that's really good obviously rebel is awesome i haven't bought that app yet but it is on my to get list um so i would say on the ipad art rage does a pretty good watercolor if i've done a few videos using art rage so i think straight out of the box without uploading any brushes or anything like that i would say on the eye oh teosui sketches has got a really nice watercolor uh brush um for on the ipad you could try that that's pretty cool and um that's really realistic i think art rage has got a good one if it's doing for the ipad art rage if you're on the pc if you can afford it i suppose rebel is the best and um corel paint is pretty good and art rage is good so i, I will be doing uh a painting or watercolor in art rage at some point i've done quite a few before i kind of rambled there i hope that answered you i hope it answered your question i did ramble a bit sorry right so once I, I get the colours on, or some colours on the canvas, I then start to, instead of sampling off the colour picker, I start sampling them off the canvas. This comes right down here. Oh, that's nice to know. Use me brushes. Nice one. I have done a, a demo painting in Rebel, um, or a, a tryout in it in the demo version. If you want to check that out, to give you an idea of what it's like, I was impressed with it, but I, I went out and bought Corel Painter instead. Uh, just because it does more things, but it's got a huge, huge learning curve. This isn't looking much at all, is it, at the minute? Oops. I don't like that. Let's undo that. Now I've got some leaves here that are all in shade, so. I will come back into all of this and and uh, start adding detail and things. I'm just sort of getting a feel where everything goes. I'm kind of, I might change the brush. Um, I think I'm going to go back to the unclean brush and take off the instant dry and instant clean for a minute. Just means I can get the paint on a bit quicker, that's better. go yeah I'm feeling it a little bit more now I 
I'm sort of looking where all the shadows are and getting them in. In, in the leaf area, I should say. Doing this live stream does make me realize that my paintings do not look anything like for the first hour or so and then they come together after that uh, oh I missed a, I missed, totally missed a trunk out get that in starting to get the color in now try and blend these in together a bit I think it's instant. I'm going to turn off the instant dry and see what that does. Oh, that's cool. I can get a colour on and still blend it. That's perhaps a little bit better. Although, there we are. I just want to get some tone into it now. It's all, it was looking a bit flat. You notice in this tree there is actually a um, door for a fairy. I'm assuming it's assuming it's a fairy to get in and out, uh, which is quite nice. And it's also like a, a portcullis, so I guess that's to stop the squirrels and the badgers and things getting in. Uh, Make Art Not Wars just said it seems that um, real watercolour painting could not be fully emulated, if you know what I mean. And I do know what you mean because I am actually a watercolourist, that's that's my background. So I've done a lot of watercolours and you can't totally uh, get it. You can only get an approximation. I wouldn't say the painting process is anything like... Um, painting in watercolor the real painting in watercolor you can get an, a finished effect that looks like watercolor but uh, the way you get there i don't think is really um like painting in watercolor just changing the brush size a little bit This painting's all about shadows. I say that a lot, don't I? But uh, paintings are most of the time, uh, in in my mind, they're all, nearly always about shadows. Take it down a bit more. I'm going to go back into all of these and make them um, look, they'll look a bit flat. There's no texture there. So I'm just sort of getting some color on really is what I'm trying to do. There we go. brush up again 
I found the quickest way in in um, Art Rage to get the brush up is just to run your uh, stylus or brush over the slider. That seems to do the job as quick as anything, I think. And then we've got this branch. It's weird that the shadows are on the top of the tree or top of the branches. So it's like shaded from by the leaves, I guess. And then it's lit underneath somewhat. I'm sort of looking at it on a different screen. It gives me, me a, a, a small one. It gives me um, an, an idea, idea of where I'm going, going with it. it. <laughs> I've got a long, long way, way to go, go yet. yet. I think, I think the, the brush, I have to say, say the brushes, brushes in, in Corel Painter are uh, maybe, maybe a little, little bit, a little bit, bit um, better. I kind of, I don't, I don't like saying, saying that because I do, I really, really do like um, R H. It's one, one of my favourite apps, and, and it, it is the very first app that, that I ever use on uh, an, an iPad. iPad about five or six years ago, maybe even a bit longer, it was like first generation iPad, I got our age and I was just blown away that you could get all of these brushes and things. Um, I do use layers, yeah, I, I use layers a lot, it's just in art rage, um, when I'm doing an oil painting, I tend to do a lot of painting on one layer because I like the way the paints mix together. Whereas if you keep putting them on different layers, they, they don't mix. So yeah, um, I use I do use layers a lot, but not uh, in the first part of the painting. Quite often I won't use them at all when I'm doing oil painting. If I'm doing watercolors, yeah, I use layers all the time. If I'm um, doing a pencil drawing or charcoal, I tend to use layers all the time. It's just in oil paint that I like to. Uh, Kind of, kind of mix, mix it, it up a bit. bit. I'll say mix it up a bit. bit. I mean, use one layer. layer. Sometimes, Sometimes I'm painting and not concentrating on what I'm saying. Sorry. I can definitely imagine fairies living in this tree. It would be awesome. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why that is. I haven't got any. I've only got one mic switched on. I've got no uh, audio playing. I'll switch my speakers off. Maybe, Maybe that, that might, might be uh, causing, causing an, an echo, echo or something. something. How's, How's that? Is that any better? Sort of getting, getting here, here with the uh, with the tree. tree. I, I need, need to think about these leaves a bit more. And I think at this point I might need to think about making. A new, a new layer. I'm going to create a new layer, layer now. Layer now. Uh, why, why is that? that? Oh, that's why. I need, I need it one more to clean. clean. It's 
still, still echoing. echoing. I, I, I don't know why. why. I can't imagine, imagine why. why. I've, I've only, only got, got, I've got nothing switched, switched on other than, than the microphone. So, so I'm, I'm sorry if it's a, a problem. problem. I could, uh, yeah, yeah, anybody, anybody else, anybody, anybody else, else getting, getting a problem with, with the uh, audio? audio? I don't say anything, anything now. I've got an all shy. There we go. Let me get some leaves down here. Hi, Gary. Hello. Um, um, can, can you, you hear me okay, okay or is, are, are you getting, getting an echo, echo on there? Oh, oh echoing, echoing too. too. Okay, okay, let, let me, me try, try something. something. Uh, um, I'm going to try and... and Okay, hopefully that might solve it. If if um if it does, can you let me know? Oh, nice one. Uh I'm am I'm amazed that I I managed to solve that. Uh, it occurred to me that maybe the mic on the webcam was causing the echo. So I just went in and switched that off and it seems to have worked. So that's cool. Glad about that. Thanks for letting me know about that because I would have gone through the whole of the stream and it would have been pretty much useless then so thanks for that right i'm just sort of still trying to get shapes in here and some more leaves and things. Now it's it's kind of looking, it's getting there. It's kind of getting there, and I'm I'm thinking I need to get into some thick paint at this point. I'll tell you what else I do a lot. I use um, when I do use more than one layer, I'll I'll very quickly start merging them down and that's what i'm going to do now if i can work out how to do it on here i'm not using this app for such a long time merge down merge layer down yet there we go and i think and that way i can sort of blend in a lot better you see and that's why i like using one layer i'm going to save this i haven't saved it yet that could have been it could have been a nightmare we could have been starting again save painting i'm just going to call it tree right 
Right, that's good. I'm happy now. Now I'm going to go into this thick gloss. This is my favourite brush. Um, this is really uh, gives you this nice thick paint look. So um, I am going to uh, choose a brown, actually, a really dark brown, and really start beefing up these colours. If I zoom into this, you can see, look at those thick, that thick paint. That's so nice. You could just smear it, look at it smearing around. Love it. Can't believe I'm getting excited about digital paint. But it, I do, I do, it is so cool. I kind of want to blur that out, soften it. I, I just love the way you can merge these colors together. So now I'm, this is, I've kind of done the underpainting at this point. I'll zoom back out again. I've got an underpainting in, and now what I'm doing, I'm actually, um, painting the picture as it were so I'm starting to paint hi uh, I'm going to get your name wrong I'm really sorry uh, Abdul Kadir hi there uh, glad you like the videos and find them useful it's nice to see you here uh, I'm really enjoying it, so stick around, and um, hopefully at the end of it, I'll have a decent painting to show you. Can you see this trunk now is starting to look like a tree trunk? I was a bit worried earlier that I was going to not be able to... Uh, achieve it and I'd be um, crashing and burning miserably I kind of sort of started at the top of this tr trunk and I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to turn my tools off and then I can get a nice big picture and see what I'm painting and I can sample colours off the picture and if I want to get the colours back, I think I can press. Um, there we go. If I press Control and Alt, I can get a colour picker up. So that's cool. So I don't need now. Uh, I don't need the toolbar. I can work straight off this. Oh. Sorry, switch the painting off. <laughs> I'm going to move my phone. That's got like a remote control on it. <sighs> Thanks, Kerry, for pointing that out. <laughs> that could have been uh, bad. I'm still learning. This is only my third one, guys. Bear with me, please. Um, I'm going to make loads of mistakes, aren't I? I know I am. can change the size of the brush with the square brackets so that's cool it is looking like paint now isn't it I made it too big now let's take it back down again And then I can kind of flick in one or two, uh, let's choose that color, make a smaller brush. It's difficult to paint and read all the comments, you know, and, and everything. 
So if I miss anybody, I'm really sorry. So I'm just going to sort of work down the tree, I guess, and just keep um, sampling the colors, putting in light, light branches, darker branches. It is nerve wracking painting. Uh, on a live stream because you know what happens if it look, <laughs> looks absolutely dire at the end of it man pressure a few little bits of dappled light coming through the uh, branches there put some there as well I'm liking it. I am liking it. I need to get my uh, color palette up and go for a darker blue. That's it. Just for these, uh, pushing some of these leaves. Uh, I absolutely think copying old masters is a brilliant idea and i have actual fact got a series called painting in the style of where i think there's about 10 or 11 videos where i uh painted one of rembrandt one of uh picasso one of uh david ockney and Sar john singer Sargent, and a flower painter called rachel rush so check them out because I really uh, had a lot of fun making those. I put a lot of work into them as well. So you might you might find them uh, quite interesting and useful. I think it's just this thick paint in Art Rage that sets this app aside i know that it's now uh, available in Carol painter and they've got their version of it which is you know superb but uh i think art rage were there first and it just makes such a difference with the painting Hello Morocco, nice to see you here. That's cool, isn't it? Uh, it's just so cool that we've got somebody from Morocco watching me paint. Uh, it blows me away. Right, now this tree, this branch is dark, really dark. on the left side and then we've got this lighter color so this goes all the way down there like this you don't have to paint the the bark in because these thick brushes do it all for you i love it i just love it oh hello russia that's fantastic Unreal. I'm glad, I'm really glad I started doing these live streams, uh, meeting everybody from, I can't believe we're meeting people from Morocco and Russia. It's just incredible.
So putting that shadow behind that branch, look, see how that's brought that big thick trunk forward. I want a little bit of red in that, so let's get the uh, I could go back to the color picker, but um, I like work working in this full screen mode. Plus, you can see better, I guess. That's not brown enough, actually. Um, the only problem with this picker is. Um, I'm gonna to have to go back it, as soon as you take your cursor off it disappears so that's a bit awkward because I want this sort of red brown I suppose I should pick it off here really there, let's go with that that's cool now I can come back to the full screen I'm glad you're having a great time that's uh Makes me feel good. Makes me feel like uh, I'm doing a reasonable job. I was really nervous, actually. Uh, I mean, I've done a few before, and I used to be a teacher. So, um, you know, I'm used to talking to people and that. But I was actually uh, quite nervous before I started this stream tonight. I don't know why. That red. Uh, can now be picked up and put in here. Just put a few brush strokes in there. I want to keep this underside pretty light. And then this top is dark. We're getting there. It's amazing this brush. It it just make it makes it so much easier to uh, get a desired effect. do have to I have to say the Cor the Corel brushes are more sensitive to pressure than the art rage ones the art rage ones you really have to uh, if you want a, a thinner stroke you have to change the size of your brush but in uh, Corel painter you don't you can just touch it lightly and you get a really thin line so that is something that is different uh, between the two I kind of got two um two branches going off here and i don't really want to i want one so i'm just gonna it's there that's that's it i just so i'm just gonna put a, a bit of leaf under that for now I've had a great day painting today. I've been painting all day. It just doesn't get any better than that, really. I'm mixing up the colours a bit so it's not all the same. You know, I've got sort of browns going off and then um a bit of sort of purpley color in there mixed in there and then we've got this i don't like the way it just puts that little blob at the end of it you know that's quite annoying
Oh, thanks. Yeah, I've done I've done a lot of watercolor in Procreate. So check them out and, and make sure you get the brushes because they are free and uh you know it's cool that I I like to share stuff, you know. It's not always about the money, is it? Which one are you watching? Which video? Which watercolour one are you watching? I'm liking this. I'm I'm really liking what's going off here. get some of this light color sort of living with my finger on the alt key sampling colors oh that's my daughter with a dog yeah uh, that I did that one a while ago. I sort of, um, Gradually working my way down the painting with the thick paint. Let's pick this darker colour up. See what I mean about working on one layer where you can uh, just mix the paint together all the while it just makes such a difference well we've got a kind of a branch coming out of there and one there that's a bit thick actually I need to take that down I don't know how small I can get it. Yeah, that's it. That's better. Now I've got that. I can choose a dark colour. Put a few branches in like that. Need to make this brush, brush bigger again. I did. I painted um, landscapes for a long, long time before I even thought about doing portraits. A, a long time. Oh, that's an interesting colour. Don't know if I like it. I picked that up by mistake. I might just 
mix it a bit and then sample what I mixed. If I can. Just adds that little bit of more green to it. I quite like that actually. So I've, by mixing the color, I've muted that down. He's putting these little blobs on. That's frustrating. I don't want them. I guess I need to press a little bit harder. I'm just wondering if I'm kind of wandering a bit. back to I'm going to try uh, the palette knife I wonder if I've got one here yeah just to Smear some of this paint out a bit. There we go. Right, now I can go back to my brush. The thick gloss one. I'm just putting some leaves under this branch here with this thick brush and also I think I'm going to um, pick this sort of light colour and I need to I may need to create a new layer here I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to go a little bit lighter because I want to get some sky. Just coming through those leaves a bit like that. There we go. So you can see at this point I have decided to make a new layer just because it I can get the clean paint on easier. And then when I'm happy with it, I can um, merge it down, which I can do pretty much straight away. And I think it's time to save the thing again. So I've been streaming an hour. It's taken me an hour to get this far. So I don't suppose that's too bad, really. That's, you know, pretty good going. See, now I've um, merged the layers down, I can sort of push paint into these, into these little highlights, and it sort of softens them off a bit. Although I, I quite like them.
defined like that so I'm not going to mess about with it too much right pick up this brown I've got a fairly small brush so I'm just wondering how big I'll make it a little bit smaller I just want to put some more branches in and I just love the way it scrapes through that paint look wicked Yeah, like it. I'm going to kind of try and make them look a little bit darker. That's it. That's it. That's, that's cool. This kind of light colour comes right the way down here. So the sky just lighting through those branches. A little bit there too. Yeah, there's a lot of videos on there uh, to look to go at. So, yeah, please look, you know, take your time and give them all a go. Uh, I've made a mistake there. That's it. That's where that wants to be at the end. This is a bush. So I should... I could start thinking about getting in these dark colours in this bush now. We come all the way down here. It's a slow business building it up, you know, sort of stroke at a time. I know there's lots of easier ways of doing it where you can get brush packs and things that just sort of sweep of the brush and it whacks in all of the uh, foliage in one go and everything but I'm not I don't like doing that you know I don't want to do that I want to I enjoy uh, putting every brush stroke on uh, you know I'm not knocking it if you know if that's what people like doing that's great but for me I want to um, do it in a, in a traditional kind of way and try and get to an end result with a lot of sweat and tears and sometimes you crash and burn and sometimes it works and that is a bit the scary thing about doing a live a live stream because it could easily crash and burn and I try and pick subjects that I'm not you know they're not going to take me eight hours to paint so the the fairly simple subjects in themselves really so I'm still working with the thick paint and uh, just building it up all still on I think I'm still on the first one layer yeah I mean I've done I've created a few layers and merged them down over and over again but I'm still working on one layer at this point with a thick paintbrush 
If you've just joined us, I'm working in Art Rage. And I'm painting a tree uh, that I took a, a photo of yesterday. Right. Kind of work. It's kind of looking okay. Let's just. Um, I want to bring in some more lights now in these um leaves up here although i suppose i could finish doing some darks i'm sampling all the colors i'm sampling off the picking them up off the painting now and just sort of i'm going to create a new layer i'm i'm getting it i feel like the paint's a bit mess messy now so by creating a new layer it's like i've waited overnight for the paint to dry if it was acrylic if it was oil obviously a lot longer and uh, I can start painting back in it again. I can get these nice darks. There we go. Just building this up really nice and slow. Kind of covering up all the highlights I put in a bit earlier. But never mind. Let's sort of coming around here. And I've got this, I want a bit of dog in there. I'm just sort of looking at all these abstract shapes that are on the on the screen and trying to make sense of them. Thanks. It's I'm I'm chuffed. It is looking um like an oil painting now, I think. So Thanks for that, uh, Maycart. Much appreciated. Oops. Kind of change things around a bit as regards the light and um, some of the branches and the, the for the sake of composition. And these colours are merging together nice now. A little bit smaller. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm, I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. A tree in there. Let's get that out in a little bit. Branch up there. Now I want to. I kind of want to pick up this yellow and put it in 
foreground a little bit. Maybe even a bit more yellow. That's it. I'll merge these colours down in a bit. Just sort of thought I'd concentrate on this grass a little bit because I'm going to bring these um, trunks down. So I didn't want to be um, having to rework over that. Once I've got these in, I can then concentrate on the branches and, or the trunks, I should say, and not worry too much. Okay, Maycock, nice to see you or to, you know, meet you on uh, this live stream. So take care. Hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. I'll be doing another one next week. Let's get these trunks in now. There we go. It's, I'll just zoom in again just to show you this, this. So you can see the brush strokes. They make a massive difference. This thick oil brush. I'm going to um, just go back to my palette, get a bit darker color. That's it. Take that branch up there. This is really nice and dark. Blending that in. I've got this other branch sort of coming out there, but it is going to um, blend in it, try and blend it in a little bit. There we go. Oops, need to move my keyboard a little bit. I'm getting a bit cramped. There we are. Better. These brushes are good, they, they just take the hard work out of it. I think I'm still on a separate layer here, which I probably need to think about blending it down again. Hmm. This trunk's got to come out quite a way. Let's 
let's have a look at my layer stack. Yeah, and we're just going to blend this one down. Uh, merge, merge layer down. That's it, now I can mix those colors back together. Um, having said that, let's just protect the field to clean off. I want to get some light in here where this light's sort of touching the edge of the the trunk, catching the, the edge of the trunk. And it really it's almost white at this point. So I just want to get some nice light strokes. Let's take the size of the brush down about 20%. Yeah, I can get some really thin strokes in then. I'm gonna, I've just created and uh, merged the layers, but I'm gonna have to create a new one so I can get this kind of bark thing going off. I'm just sort of putting colors on here and then I will um, blend them down in a minute. Just so much light. There we go. I think it's coming. I think I'm getting there. Yeah, let me merge these down and what I can do now. Uh, why will it not let me lay it? Merge lay it down. There we go. I'm going to save it. I haven't saved it for a while. Oh, glad I've remembered to do that. I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to use this blending brush. Uh, it's um, a palette knife, really. It's the Just Blend Color one, just to blend those edges. I can do that now that I've um, merged the layers into one. There we go. Hey, I'm getting there. It's it's coming. It's a bit more blending actually. Trunk up to there. Yeah, I'm liking it. Back to me thick gloss brush. And I'm going to pick up some really dark colour. Make me brush a bit. Oh, it's 50%. That should be okay. that in there
There is a um, fairy window. Somebody's taking time to uh, make a little fairy door for this tree and also uh, a little window. So I don't know whether to put it in or not. What do you think? Do you think I should go for it? Should I put this fairy window in? trying to pick up this red and put that in one or two other places just to add a little bit of harmony really I'm guessing there we go hello law uh, okay I will I will do it I will put the uh, little door in i'll show you on the um photo there we go you can see at the bottom of the tree there's a somebody's made a door and there's a couple of windows on there you, it might not be able to see them quite clear so um let's do it so we've got this little door i'm going to create a new layer then for the door It goes here somewhere. Oh, I need to pick a, a nice reasonable colour for it. Something like this. I believe that this door, it's actually like a port colour. This had made, they put a little chain on it. You can see there's a chain on there. So it drops down and I guess they pull this up um to keep the squirrels out that's my theory anyway i love all things about fairies and stuff like that. i used to tell my kids uh lots of stuff we used to go walking and i'd say to them now if you look out the corner of your eye if you look out the corner of your heart your eye you will see the fairies in the woods but if you try and look at them they will run away i don't think it's armed them telling them stuff like that the the both massive lord of the rings friend, fans i know that there so that's quite a big fairy door maybe i made it too big let's just um make it a little bit smaller it's better You're absolutely right. It, I think it's a cool thing uh, to let them believe in a little bit of magic. There we are, a little fairy door. Now, I've got to put a window in as well. There was like, um, there was a few windows actually sort of one painted here painted I mean uh, fixed on there like that I'm glad you said you wanted the fairy doors I, I wanted to put them in and then there was another one sort of here That's it. There. So the fairies can get in and out now. So I'm happy about that. That's all good. I 
I'm quite chuffed with this. I think it's coming on okay. Uh, I was a bit concerned when I first started. I, I, I thought I might. I need to blend this down. When I'm, I've said, I've already said this a couple of times. I like when I'm working in oils. I like to keep it on one layer as much as I can. Then when I start painting into other layers, the colours just blend together like that. Look. So that's um, what I'm trying to achieve here. And then I can pick the colour up and then paint back into it as well. Just a bit of a, a shadow thing going off there. And now this tree looks like it's floating. So I've got to get something, some shadow under there, really. Uh, so let's get the brush up to 100%. Got that same colour. And we need to go, I'm going to have to create a new layer again. I could do this by, you know, sort of adjusting, uh, taking the auto clean off on the brush, I suppose. And then just toggle it back on again. See what a difference that makes. All of a sudden the tree is now anchored to the ground. So let's merge that lay down. I think uh, next time I'll use, I'll switch off the auto clean to do this. There we go. I don't like this. See these like little dots. Just going to use the um, just blend palette knife. And I'm put that at one hundred percent. Just just to blend that off a bit as well. Just to get those colours merging together. Now these leaves need to Oh um I started to I forgot to go back to my paintbrush and I was using this palette knife and I like I really like that effect I was getting, so I'm going to use it a bit more. It only, um, I've used two types of brushes and it's where the thick oil paints on. Does it give this nice smudged effect? So anyway, back to my thick gloss brush. And these kind of leaves that I'm painting. Let's take the auto clean off so I can get plenty of paint on there. Actually, I want the instant dry, not the auto clean. That's it. That's what I wanted. They need to come down quite a bit lower, look. These hanging branches. And then a few holes in there. I 
actually it should be that color try and stay consistent if I can I'll bring that lighter color down. I'm just trying to get an impression of, of these leaves. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to paint every one or even paint one, you know. I'm, I'm painting the shapes of the shadows, really. That's what I'm really doing. That's the light uh, coming in through the tree, the um, leaves. Let's try and do this side. I've kind of concentrated on one side of the painting, really, which is a bit naughty. Let's, um, let's even it up a bit. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's working okay for me. We're getting there. It's looking like a tree. Oops. Again, I want to put some of this all right, just just a few little indications there. That's it. That's cool. And then bring these down quite low as well we're getting there I keep saying that I can feel I can feel it taking shape now and I'm really pleased with the way it's going. There's always a point when you wonder if it's going to work. Oh. Let's undo that. Getting in that shadow look. Make sure I get to the end of the painting, right to the edge, I should say. Let's choose that. Let's make the brush a bit smaller. I'm taking it down to about 20%. And then I can um, put these actually. Um, I need to take the auto, uh, the instant dry off for that. And then that way it kind of scrapes through the paint. 
gives a much more painterly look like it's actually been scraped through oil paint. So I'm putting some branches in now. And I think these help to define the shape. There we go. I could I could put quite a lot in here really. I don't know where to stop. Make it a bit thicker. A few this side. And twenty percent uh twenty percent. I'm just sort of flicking flicking off with the uh brush and letting it find its own way. I don't like that. I don't like the way I scrubbed it in, I kind of painted it in. I want to get it in in one just one go like that and another one like that that's it yeah i'm liking it size up a bit Just using a smaller brush now to put in smaller um, leaves, I guess, or indication of leaves, if you like. There we go. That's it. All of these uh, leaves down here would be in the shade, really. And I'm working with the instant dry brush, so it's like putting on really thick paint that's just sitting on that surface. Um, I look. I'm looking over to the side because I've got another monitor here with with the picture on it, as it's been painted. And and looking at that, it's smaller, and it gives me an idea of um, what it's looking like. So it's quite nice. From the point of view of, of uh, seeing it with fresh eyes almost let's get some smaller this side of the tree is in shade so um it doesn't need very many light 
branches put uh, leaves put in on it so I'm just going to do some smaller ones just to sort of balance the whole thing up we are I think that is a finished painting uh, yeah I don't I've not used the uh, referenced image in art rage because uh, it's cluttered I have only got sort of a 16 inch screen to work on and if I put it on this monitor it's uh, although I've got it really close to me to look at it takes a lot of space and um, you know I, I want all the space to paint with really not having it cluttered with a, um, the, the source image so that's why I've got the source image I've actually got the source image on my iPad uh, next to me uh, because I've got all the streaming software on the other monitor and it's through the other monitor streaming software that I can see the other uh, paintings developing smaller so that's kind of an added bonus of it really so yeah um that uh, so I, I can actually look at the painting uh on the other screen and then i've got the referenced image on my ipad right below it which is quite nice um if i've and and also to be honest with you i i feel that with the reference image in art rage you can't get it big enough and it's and it is a bit clunky i much prefer i've got it open in um well it's in the, the photo app on the ipad but if i was using my pc i just don't open it up in the pc photo software and that is better for me than the reference thing i think I hope that makes sense. Right, uh, I want a bit more paint there. I think I'm nearly there, you know. I think this is a finished painting, so I'm going to sign it now. I am going to create a new layer to put the signature on. Take me brush down to about 15%, I guess. And I'm just going to sign it in the shadow area with the blue color. Now that, to me, looks way too strong but because I've got it on another layer I can um, adjust the I guess it's the opacity yeah let's try it at 50% yeah that's better so that is it um, at one finished painting let's uh, zoom in on it a little bit so you can see better what we're doing or what i've done there we are i um i'm now going to call it a day at this point so thank you everybody that's uh come online tonight and watch me paint this picture I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have because I've really uh, have enjoyed it. Thanks uh, for dropping in. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, or whatever you're going to do now. Um, again, thanks for uh, stopping in. If you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and um, hitting that notification bell so that you'll be informed when I'm live, live streaming or making other videos. And hopefully I will see you all again soon and in the next one. Bye.